Morning. We got a bit of rain yesterday, which is good, and we're supposed to have a bit more uh, this afternoon. So, yeah, things looking up. We've got. Oh, Andy's not here. I'm a bit early though today, um, but he's here in a bit. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Em's here as well, and uh, we can get something done. It's very quiet this morning, so it's uh, just before feeding time. So I like it. Quiet cows are happy cows. And as I say that, a few of them start mooing. Andy's here, Em's here. Ah, it's all happening today. First thing for me though, is I'll pull the mixer out and we'll start a mix. These windows are mucky, aren't they? Hey, disgraceful. Your hair there in the middle of the screen. Nice to see you on the morning. Right, I've just jumped on the nine meter to go and sort these silage bales out. But uh, my mates will have liked that drink uh, yesterday and today. Hopefully a little bit later, get a bit more. Uh, sure. It's getting to that time of year where there ain't gonna be that much rain, isn't it? So it's well, uh, well accepted. What do I want to say? Well, uh, needed. Oh, I don't know what I need to say. Forgot the word, but yeah, we like it. We like that it's rained. <laughs> received, well received. I think that's what I meant to say. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> What's this? What's the matter, Andy? You lost your nut? I did, yeah. Nut came off what? Oh, I thought you were meaning it. I thought it was um, you'd done a shear bolt. Mm. Yeah, I saw Andy had got these open, but that the like captive nut on that one's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. really gone this morning. Maybe we just start to try and find where you can get a captive nut. It's probably not hard to get one, to be honest. Have you? Oh, it's got proper nut on it now. Nutty crazy this morning. <laughs> Andy's getting the bales in. Ooh. It was at the balance point, wasn't it? It's there though, it's in. And he's just blasting the straw in now. Doing a good job. Right, we're gonna get some cattle out. Look at this, we've got a wall of tractors set up. So that they all don't run off. And they're off. Loads of them are off. Just getting some out of these, guys. Last day at college was yesterday. Yeah. Until when? October. Oh, school's out for summer. <laughs> We're just getting these up and weighing them and then recording them basically because we're moving them from one pen to another. Andy lost him. Andy lost him. Going to send this one up because it's just hiding around the corner. And we'll see if I can trap it in one go. There we go. Like a dream. We read its number, M puts it in the computer, then we decide what we're going to do with it. I've just had my dinner. I want to see what these guys are up to. We've got a few more cows to get out and weigh and check and what have you. And then, oh, sounds like the diesel tank's running. Um, then I've got some bits to fill around the uh, shed because some of the local farmers might be combining in the next week or so, week and a half. So we need to get that shed fixed and ready. So right now I'm going to swap over because I got a new tap the other day. The handle. So I've got a nice new one with a proper end on it. Business, eh? Yeah. Sorted, looks like a brand new one. So those guys are getting a bit of muck out there. Just putting on the field at the side here, so that's an easy job. And I'm just gonna drop my sprayer off, because uh, in the next few days, hopefully we'll be going mowing. Don't need the sprayer for a, for a bit now until I spray the maze again. So I'll get the wheels on and we'll get it chopped off. Uh, I've just hit my funny bone. God, Jesus. I'm pulling this out of here, like that, 
Your funny bone just hit that. Oh. oh well. Anybody else heard a funny bone like before? It's just a nightmare. I hate it. Not talking a load of. Sh she's uh, she's she's taken to tip it. She's going to tip it. That's Joe. Yes, my car is there, Emily. You are correct in uh, in that. I keep a distance from it. Yes. We've also got the end of the way bridge. I know. I don't like the end of that way bridge. Are you using your mirrors? Yes, I am, Josie. So that's the mocky. Yeah. 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 So you want me to drive up to it and do a loop? No, I'm going to do a loop before you get to it. Why? What, what, so what you to do? Well, tell me what drive you want to do. Drive up to it, do a loop, and reverse back to it. But my idea was by looking at it is if I just drive past it, and reverse down. And I can carry it on going uphill, can't I? Yeah. So it wants me to like, look round in this area. Yeah, there's no point spinning, spinning it round when it's full. I might as well carry on going uphill, aren't I? Yeah, go past it and then reverse to it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's been doing. Go for a man, look. Compacting, compaction that, Em. We do not want compaction. I don't know how this trailer works. I'm just going up what you're having, Andy's just told me. Right, we're going to have a look anyway. You want to be touching muck hill, you want to... Be like a few inches away from it. Yeah, you want to be close to it, like but it you don't want to bend lights on the back, that's all. Yeah, it, it said something about the lights. Yeah, so as you get closer to it, then you can lift your trail up a little bit more and then you'll be able to see how close you are. Yeah. You don't want to be back in, back in places where your trail up in air and loads of weight on, but like, as you get close... Oh yeah, I can see underneath my wheels, you know. Yeah? Right, I'm like a yard away from it. Go on, keep going a bit. Lift it up a bit more then. Let's have it so we can see a bit better. Yeah, I can actually see muck underneath it. Go on, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Has it got any oil going to it, Em? You're pulling. Go on, push it. I'm pulling it. You're tickling it. I'm pulling it. Go on, pull it. Go on, Em, pull it. Come on. That's it, maximum power. Right, right now you can go back a bit more, can't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you see them two green things at either side? Like behind your wheels. Not you just bad. don't want you just don't want that bar to be touching anything. Oh, right. So you can go back a bit more. Oh, the pressure is on. Right. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Whoa, bloody hell, we're too far. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Is that yeah. my blue handle? Yeah, then open your blue handle. Yeah, use your blue handle. Is it working? Oh, yeah, not... muck coming out. That's good. Keep that on until you feel it. Did you yeah. feel it judder? Yeah. Then take it off. Put, it in no, put your blue one into the middle now. That's it. Right, now lift it up. Yep, that's it. Yep. Keep it just, just keep it where it is for now. And as you start tipping it up, what you'll find is the uh, the muck will start pushing you forward a little bit. Probably. Yeah, but if you keep your foot on brakes for now. I haven't seen no muck yet. No, I think you have opened the door. So we're just sticking a little bit. See, it's coming out. So if you let your foot off brake a little bit, is it pushing you forward? Yeah. I think I'd better clutch that Yeah, you did, you did, you did make it drive a little bit, didn't you? So tip it up a bit more. Yeah, let's get it tipped up. Right, that's it, forward. Jesus, this isn't weird. Now, you don't want to be driving very far with it up like that, yeah? Because it's unstable. Stable. Unstable load. So that's it, keep going. You'll be fine, but like, you just don't want to be going over bumps or stories. bumps or all that. So that's it. Keep going forward, and then you'll see that last bit of muck dropping out as we go. A bit more, just to make sure. Yeah. So pretty sure that it's empty. Drop it down. So, so you can push that all the way to the front if you want. Put it. Oh, that's it. Right now, you want to close your back door before your trailer goes all the way down. 
So, can you see it closing in your mirror? Yeah. Oh, we can. It's pretty hard to see it closing. But... Yeah, you heard it. Good. You was in your mirrors there, Em? <laughs> Me and Em have just noticed while tipping that load of muck. What we noticed, Em? Andy has not been using the tram lines, he has been compacting the soil uh, that is not on the tram lines and um, that's bad for grass weeds because it um, means that grass has a favourable favorable advantage in compacted soil um, yeah it's just bad for the soil yeah yeah Em's getting the technicalities here not the easy bits is it Em, this? I thought it was good. Good, good. Here we go again. Oh, oh, nearly went for the windscreen. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm safe, guys. <laughs> Chill, Joe. Yeah, yeah. He's put his JCB in a position that we think he wants the trailer in a certain position, and he's decided to come back and tell us that it's in wrong place. After I just reversed around that corner, like a pro. Yeah, like a pro as years. well. He did, he did, did it very, very well. What do I do now? Just go down middle like that. Keep going down middle and then like when we get a bit closer we'll turn it and then we're gonna put it sideways across. But you need to be going sort of down middle to be able to make sure you've got enough room with your front end of your tractor to be able to swing it in. That's gear and you're telling off. Get ready. Yeah. You haven't been driving on the tram lines. Yeah. You certainly haven't. <laughs> She's not happy, Andy. No. You got compaction in the field. Very damaged soil. Soil. We need to regenerate the soil, just, don't we? I just reversed down there perfectly. <laughs> Very good. I don't want it there. <laughs> oh, not in uh, I, I don't know. She bossing you about, Andy. Hey? She's bossing you about. Yeah. yeah. When they've done the building, they've been driving uh, down that side. Because they haven't been, we've took around there and stolen that before down the tram. No, 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 I don't mean that. To the muck hill. I mean, to further the muck up. Hill. Like when you're going straight up the field. I don't go straight up the field because you went that way and tipped that way, didn't you? Yeah, because it would make more common sense to me. I just don't have to go too far that way. I'm just bringing it back this way. Oh god, I just, just got m oh, loads of mixed. That's what this drawing is on here, Em, look. Yeah, I know, but field, look. Do a big loop around so you're facing back to come out the field. <coughs> yeah, but no, you shouldn't be turning around it field. So you compaction in. Because you're turning with a full load. What, you want to drop it and go? Then? Yeah. Turn empty. Turn empty, not full. Reverse around the corner and then drive forward back down your tram line. Or turn at 90 degrees and tip. <laughs> yeah, let's get some work done, eh? I'm gonna leave them two to bicker and fall out about that. No, just, it's just a bit of banter. Um, and I'm gonna go and do a bit of tidying up after the builders. Because there's a load of sheets that um, they've had to throw off into the field, and we just need to tidy that up. And, um, and make sure there's no fibre cement and stuff in the uh, in the soil for next year's crop. So check all this mess out. So that's all the sheets that they took off the roof at this end. Which is the rest of them were um, burnt on in the fire. They, they all just fell into the shed. Whereas these are the ones that they threw off the shed. Look at all that stuff to tidy up. Lovely. What a mess! Em's on it over there. Tipping it up. Well done, Em. I suppose I should be on that trailer and I should have them chucking these bits into the bucket by hand but it's a good time uh, to let them learn how to back up and you know do the bits and bobs of the trailer 
um, so that when we're busy in summer she's had that experience already and she's had people around her to sort of tell her what's you know pick the mistakes that she's making up and sort of get her get her around right so um, yeah that's why I'm the one the numpty on chucking stuff in bucket <laughs> no we're getting there it's, it's getting tidier ish listen to the crunch So just crunch these uh, these sheets down. Oh. Then they'll just disappear. Just cement. So they'll just disappear into uh, a fine cement dust kind of fibrous panel. Em's out and about scavenging. What you got, Em? Take screws. Oh, we use them quite a bit, don't we? We're making troughs and stuff. Not chuck them away. Goodens? Nice! Andy's just put in this pen some straw that is three or four years old, I think. I wonder if anybody knows what it is. That's the stuff. Let us know in the comments if you know what type of straw that is. It was a really bad year for straw and we bailed absolutely anything that we could because there just wasn't the straw there. And that was one of the products that we bailed. So yeah, let us know in the comments if you know what that is. This is M's bag of tricks. Wow, you got quite a bag there, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Hey, bolts. bolts. Bits of everything. You've got this size and you've got that size. Big and bigger. Nice. Well done, M. Business. Oh. <laughs> Imagine being married. I am married, M. For all that time, to have been like, no. Oh yeah, 35 years it is. Is that how long you've been married? No! I don't know how long I've been married. Like, uh, three years, years, I think. Congratulations. What's it, two years? I think it's three years. I should know, thanks. It's not 35 years though. This, you'll know what we're on about in a minute, what we were discussing. But um, yeah, me and Emma have just done a live. If people want to check that out, then um, heads. TikTok, YouTube, whatever it was. YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can check that out. Um, me and Emma have got something to do now, which correlates with what we've just been on about. This sound works really tight, guys. <laughs> come on, Em, big guns. Yeah. yeah, we need to get that sorted, really. When uh, JCB come out to service it, we'll get him to look at the handbrakes. It's really, really, yeah. It is really stiff, isn't it? You need yeah, and he thought sold. my muscles were just getting weaker. I did, I said, Em, um, you're getting weaker, but no, it's definitely no. getting harder to no. pull. No. Right. Anyway, come on, get out. <laughs> so we got some heating issues with this John Deere. I'm um, not sure what Em's doing, but um, she's tickling it with a knife or something. Um, em, are you going to sort out this business that we've got to do now? Mix her mentions. Mix Oh, after a few days away, Em now is going to do us mix her mentions. So today. We've got Chris and Julie Atkins wedding anniversary. They've been married for 11 years, but they've uh, been going out for 35 years, Em. Oh. So we I thought it was 35th wedding anniversary, but then I reread it and they've actually been going out 35 years. Oh, so they've been married 11. 11. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, thank you so much for being a legend. And supporting the air ambulance. Business! <laughs> Oh, Em's just attacking them now, just getting them cleaned up. Now Andy's on the proper clean. We've got that John Deere now all sorted. Tops it up with a little bit of coolant. The jobs are good in. Time to go home. Um, if you've liked our video, what do people need to do, Em? Subscribe. And like. And, and share it with their friends. And head over to joeseals.com for the hats and t-shirts and all that business. And um everyone's left me. Is this how it goes now? Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, and if anybody wants to be on mixed mentions then um the way to donate is in a link below to uh, just give in. I don't touch the money, it goes straight to them, which is brilliant. Uh, 370 odd quid I think we've raised from so far in. Which is good that isn't it? Really good. So thanks to everybody for that. And we will see you tomorrow. We're all in. Are we? Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Bye! Waving him!
I wonder if Emma, uh, if um, if Mick will go on your bike on uh, Did you party night. Hey, do you know what he says? He's walking up and he's walking back. Hey, that's what he says. Wave as I drive by. Yeah, just pick you on. That'd be so funny. Hey. Bye. <laughs> I guarantee you that he will not walk either way. What do you reckon? I don't know. It's a fair hill to walk up. I, I, reckon, I reckon he'll get somebody to give him a lift up and then he'll get there Lauren to pick him up on way back or something. It is a fair hill from here though, isn't it? Well, it's downhill, one way back, isn't it? Yeah, but... I suppose that then... Up the hill. Well, yeah. You've got to go up that hill and then up the industrial estate though. Yeah. He would get his steps in, wouldn't he? So, yeah, we'll have to see on that one. See what happens. Anyways, bye guys. Bye. Goodbye, Goodbye Em. Goodbye. Just about to leave and look what's happened. Escape artist is out. Yeah, yeah, I'll open the gate. It's like the softest cow ever. There's plenty of food in there as well, by the way. Now, hillbilly sorted this. Em's got a sunband, you know, just to tie it up. And then that'll sort it until we get some bits to put in. You two better behave yourselves tonight now. <laughs> See you later, guys.